can you have him? Nate. 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 Have him move to the right a little bit for me. I'm tethered because I'm losing power. Hi everyone, this is Heather Lee joining you once again. Sorry for that little break over there, uh, that live stream. We had to recharge our phones out here. We have been out here for the past couple of hours following this fire in Lackawanna. This is the uh, Lackawanna steel side along Route 5. And you can see that massive plume of smoke still remains. Um, we do not know, again, where exactly this fire started here uh, along this site, but we do know that at least one of the buildings went up in flames over here. The roof of this very large rectangular industrial building, um, the roof collapsed about an hour ago. When we first got here, the smoke was just a super thick black smoke. It has gotten a little bit lighter in color, uh, I would say, over the past half hour, 45 minutes or so. And uh, like I said, this, the smoke has gotten a little bit lighter um, over the past, I would say, 30 minutes or so. And you can actually see off into the distance a little bit. We weren't able to see uh, much past some of those fire crews, um, but the visibility has gotten a little bit better. We've been mentioning uh, throughout the morning here that there are some shelter-in-place warnings, Athol Springs, uh, basically the community sort of just to the west of this site. Uh, there are some crews, or excuse me, there are some neighborhoods, I should say, off over to the east of the site. And those folks, they're being allowed in and out of their homes. That's because the wind um, is is at our back right now. It's sort of working in our favor. I know that somebody wrote, yeah, that smoke is lighter. Yes, that gives you an indication of just how bad it was before. The cloud uh, of smoke seems a, a lot smaller than it was before. That being said, it is still pretty massive. Um, but again, it has lightened up and we are call. able to, uh, we're able to see beyond the scene, whereas before we were not able to. Um, seeing at least four aerial trucks um, up in this area Live right now. Nice. And folks, we're gonna pause for just a second here so that we can go do a, a live report. So bear with us, I'm gonna mount this in the windshield over here and we'll join you in just a couple of minutes. But right now we're gonna leave you with this, this picture. You're absolutely right, Jeremy. Smoke is lighter because there's now water on the fire. Um, still not under control at this point. And things are very much uh, still burning at this point. Check, check, check.
Okay, there, John and Melissa, let me step out of the way. You can see that smoke, although the cloud is still very large, it has gotten smaller over the past couple of hours, and it's also gotten a little bit lighter in color. I know some people are looking at that and going, really, that's, that's better? It is better than where we were two hours ago. We have seen at least four aerial trucks fighting this fire, uh, basically from the four corners of this rectangular building. It's hard to say what's going okay. on on the other side of that. We do know that there are uh, multiple crews from various municipalities. Buffalo Fire Department has a very large presence here uh, helping out Lackawanna. We don't know who's sort of taking the lead on this. We know that Buffalo Fire has their hazmat crew here on the scene. Multiple ambulance crews are here on standby. We have not seen any of those ambulances uh, travel past us, which, which certainly would indicate some good news that there were no injuries. We have not heard a, a word of any injuries at this point. Uh, just within the past couple of minutes, also noting, noticing ATF police um, right here in the center of the street, sort of staying back at this point, but we would imagine that they would be a part of what would be a, a very large uh, and pretty lengthy investigation for a number of reasons. The, the sheer size of this fire, the length of time that this has been burning, uh, and the fact that they have to go through this rubble at some point to try and determine a cause. We've been talking throughout the morning about all of the, the potential things that could be burning in here. There's a mulch business inside. Uh, there are some people that store boats and cars. So if that's the case, you're talking about fuel and oil that are burning here. It was uh, about uh, a quarter after eight this morning. I would say that the roof collapsed. It is a metal roof, or I should say was a metal roof. And there were uh, vents along the top. You can see two remaining off to the left-hand side. Those were along the entire length of this building. At one point, we couldn't really see very many flames. It was just that thick black smoke. And then all of a sudden, each one of those just lit up. It almost looked like a candelabra, and the flames just quickly traveled all the way across that roof. And then we started to see the corner of that building come down, uh, the roof over the corner of that building, and then just really uh, across that entire stretch. There is just a small portion of the roof that remains and again, there are aerial crews, at least four of them that we can see from our vantage point here that are dousing this fire, these flames from high above. Uh, one of the things, again, that is making this so incredibly difficult, as you can imagine, and we've learned this um, from covering several industrial fires, is just the material that you're working with in terms of the building, the sheer size of the building and then also the material. You're dealing with a metal roof. When the roof collapses, if you've got interior wall collapses, those pieces of metal they collapse, there is fire underneath there, trapped underneath there. So although the smoke is getting a little bit lighter, we can't see any visible flames, you don't know what's underneath there. So this will uh, obviously probably take several more hours to put this out. For right now, the uh, Route 5 is closed in this section. There are those shelter-in-place warnings for the people that are on the other side of this building. But for right now, these neighborhoods, they're in pretty good shape. We're going to stay on top of this. We will have more updates for you throughout the day here on Channel 2 and, of course, throughout the day at WGRZ.com. Com, but still a developing story here. The pictures, John and Melissa, are just absolutely incredible, even two hours later. And again, a lot of folks saying, it doesn't look like it's getting better. That just goes to show you how bad it was originally. Thank you.
There's a command center somewhere, Lincoln and somewhere. Cody's trying to make his way down here. Cody's at the Tim Hortons and no problem. I told him we have a live call coming up at 10 Watch Channel 2, Channel 2. Um, how are we doing? How are you? Good. Hey, Matt, Fred. Paul, how are you doing? Right. Nate Benson. Nate, Fred Hayden. I'm sure you like you, water. Um, you want to put anything on camera about what's going on in Lackawanna? Because right now we got nothing. Hey. We got nothing. Well, no one's talking. We're just doing some good pictures. We just need yeah. to go quick. Sure, I... Is that a card that I can steal over yeah. there? Yeah. You can see, tell everyone I'm a Cubs fan. Oh, I'm a White Sox fan. No. Don't hold I, it against me, though. Sorry, Channel 2 will not be doing any reporting. <laughs> Two space. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're supporting the White Sox, so. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for the Cubbies, though. We'll take it. Yeah. I would give it. I would give it up to change last night. There's a perfect spot. We'll all kind of gaggle around you. Fred, just say it's your name. Fred Hindley, H-E-I-N-L-E, Director of Development for the City of Lackawanna. What's going on this morning? Well, we're not sure what the cause was, um, except that a major warehouse facility on Route 5 in Lincoln, in Lackawanna, is fully engulfed in a fire. Um, right now, I was... to its present location to keep it under control. Can you describe what's inside of that building or on those grounds? We understand that it could be a number of businesses. Yeah, there are several businesses. The building, according to the management company, was about 60 to 70 percent occupied, mostly storage facilities. There's boats and trailers and vehicles. Um, there's some steel um, facilities, not, not manufacturing, but more storage um, that's in the site. 
um, and just so there's a plastic uh, warehousing facility in there. Um, I'm assuming like plastic furniture is to be warehoused in the facility, and that's really the cost of the, the dark black smoke that we see. What have you heard in terms of where this fire may have originated? Have you heard anything along those lines inside the building, outside the building? Where